It's great to be back after the bye week. Here we are at the live taping of the fame at the Rustic. Joining me are anchors Travis Frederick and Zach Martin. We're excited to be here. And we're also going to have a little competition of our own today. It's definitely going down. And joining us today, Dallas Entertainment Journal's Matt Thornton and also founder of Dallas Sites 101 and Culture Nugget are going to give us Dallas' best-kept secrets. Guess what? The fame starts now. The fame. Lindsay, Tony, and Dallas's biggest names with all things football, food, fandom, and fun. More than just the game. Welcome to the fame. Welcome to another episode of The Fame. I'm your host, Tony Banks. We have a packed show for you tonight. Got some anchors of that offensive line with us tonight. We're going to talk, recap the Giants game. Going to have a lot of fun. But without further ado, we're going to invite our first guest, center and captain of that offensive line, Travis Frederick. What's up, big fella? Oh, not too much. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for joining us. Now, I know it was a tough loss mm -hmm. yesterday. They all are. They're all tough wins Absolutely. and tough losses. But to win the time of possession, even though that's an exaggerated stat, by 17 minutes, is there anything you guys take personal with that with still losing? Uh, you know, it really comes down to wins and losses for us. Yeah. Uh, when you go out there and you, you perform and, and you try and do your best uh, and still lose, you, you still lose. It, it doesn't. There's no moral victories in the NFL. Now, just a couple years ago, you were at Wisconsin in the Big Ten, probably mm -hmm. losing to Michigan State like Ooh, usual. I don't know about that. But, <laughs> but now you're you're a, a Pro Bowl center. You're uh, relied upon on a high level. What's been the best part of your NFL career so far? You know, it's been such an interesting journey uh, throughout the whole thing, going from Wisconsin, you know, a big time yeah. school, uh, and going through the process, going through the draft, and uh, just getting a chance to learn from so many talented veteran players and uh, the people that are on the team, the guys that have taken me in on the offensive line. Uh, it's just been a lot of fun to play with them. Speaking of other guys on that offensive line, another first-round stud, guard Zach Martin. I'll tell you what, fellas, when I played, offensive linemen looked a little different. I mean, 300 pounds looked a little different. I mean, you guys... Are you calling us fat? Well, I'm just saying, you guys are big boned. Okay, all right. But you guys wear it well, is what I'm saying. Oh, thank There's, you. You know, not many Nate Newtons in the world anymore. You know, Nate was a great player. Mm. Um, did you guys notice right away, say in camp last year, that you guys had a special group? You know, I think it started uh, before. You know, it was just the, the process building up, and then you had a great talent like Zach. Uh, he comes into the group, fits in really well, and is willing to learn and uh, grow very, very quickly. Um, so it, it, that definitely helped, but yeah. we're still working to improve and, and, and really focus on the small things. Now, Zach, I know you're in your second year now. Has that really settled in that you're an all-pro as a rookie? I don't even know how many times that has been done. I mean, that is for real. Uh, yeah, like, like Travis said, you know, it's a great accomplishment, but, um, you know, it all starts with those guys in the room. And, um, you know, like he said, the foundation was set. And then, uh, you know, when I came in here, it was we just kind of hit the ground running. And, um, you know, it's just a great group to work with. Now, you guys have been on your third quarterback this, this year so far, which is, you know, pretty rare as far as the NFL goes. Um, I know Tony Romo has a lot to do with getting you guys into the right plays, and that's tough for somebody to come in in a week or two and be able to do that. Is, is that something that you guys have had to change game plan-wise where you guys got more call-it-run-its as opposed to being able to check out everything? You know, I think the quarterbacks have done a really good job of adjusting to what they're doing and adjusting what we're doing, and... Uh, putting themselves in a good position to be able to do that. And we talk about the next man up mentality yeah. um, where everybody's ready to play and everybody's ready to do it at the same level. And I think you see that with the quarterbacks in, in that sort of deal is that they can, they can do that. They can make those calls and they can help us be in the right situation. Yeah, Matt Castle, very experienced. You know, might not have the physical talent maybe that Whedon has, but you can see a little fire in Castle that maybe you didn't see in Whedon, not being judgmental. But it looks like Castle was really taking the bull by the horns. Yeah, it's, I mean, it seems like uh, he, he's done a good job of jumping on and, and trying to uh, corral the group and, and put us in the right direction. Now, Zach, coming from Notre Dame, another big-time program. Um, I, I know when I watch college, college football, I see a lot of the spread offense. You guys' offensive linemen moving laterally. Then you get to the NFL and you got to play a little more downhill. Was that an adjustment for you? Um, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we did a lot of the same um, concepts in, in college, and 
Um, you know, people are kind of take that as a misconception is that when there's, you know, five receivers, you can't um, do the same technique. So, yeah. um, I mean, obviously there's a lot of things that are different as far as uh, formations and things like that. But as far as their techniques, it's, uh, it's pretty similar. Nice. Well, we're going to continue more with Zach and Travis as soon as we come back on the fame. We'll be back. Grab a crisp, refreshing Bud Light. Put two plans on the table and let the NFL coin toss decide. Okay, heads, Todd says we go to Tina's pool party tomorrow. Nice. Tails, we go to the beach all day and snuggle. Nice. Wait, autocorrect, he meant snorkel. Cool. Oh. Snorkel. Yeah. Bob Lavelle here for HMS with frequently asked questions. Joe asked, Bob, your client seems so happy with their experience at HMS. Is it because of the great home deals they get or great customer service? Joe, meet our customer service department. Well, it's time to stop renting. It's time you move on out. HMS can get it done. Welcome back to the fame. I'm here with studs Travis Frederick and Zach Martin. Also joining us on the stage is Mr. Entertainment, Matt Thornton. Hey, Tony. Now, Matt, I see you wearing a little pink over there. What's yeah, going I, on there, man? In I, us. I am. You know, you know, it's a it's a special time of year, uh, breast cancer awareness. And my mom, Ruth, it is her birthday today. She is a 20 year breast cancer survivor. And 20 she's, years. She is the most courageous, strongest woman I know. She's my hero. Love you, mom. Happy birthday. Uh, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ruth. Happy birthday to you. Eat more chicken. <laughs> All right, now I know you guys got the Seahawks coming up, but I think, Matt, uh, you got any questions for these guys about the Giants? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. You guys, I mean, uh, when you came out, it seemed like you guys were playing with a chip on your shoulder. I mean, you had uh, two, 233 total rushing yards that game what was were you playing with that chip I mean what what was different about this game that uh, seems like you got, came out with with a force uh, I don't think there was any extra uh, added chip you know that's what we want to do is run the ball and uh, you know we were able to execute in there um, you know the coaches did a great job uh, calling, calling the plays there and and uh, you know we just went out there and executed um, so it's something we got to keep doing continue doing and, and uh, you know it just it just helps our football team out Great. And, you know, Travis, uh, I mean, you had, I think, the block of the game, in my opinion, on that one yard uh, McFadden touchdown run. Uh, he, you took six foot four, 300 pound Marcus Kuhn, and I think threw him like a rag doll back into the end zone. Talk about that play. Is that, is that kind of like the highlight of, of the game for I you? I don't know if I'd call it threw him like a rag doll, but uh, <laughs> uh, he was lined up. He was, he was really low. I knew he was coming off the ball, and uh, luckily I was able to get my hat across. and. Uh, felt like I could maybe turn up with him instead of trying to stretch him. And uh, D-Mac did a great job of just going downhill uh, and hitting the hole and driving it in for a touchdown. He, he did a great job last night. Nice. It was a great play. Well, it seems like years ago when us Dallas fans were just begging Jason Garrett to run the football, now insert you studs, and all of a sudden you're one of the, the best running football team in the league last year. Darren McFadden has a great game, 29 carries, 150 yards or so. When his body doesn't let him down, to me, he's as explosive as any back in the NFL. What do you guys think? You know, I, th I think that he's a, a really powerful runner yeah. and, a, and a guy that does the right things. You know, he makes the cuts. He stretches the way he should uh, to, to help us out as an offensive line. Uh, he's just a really imperso uh, impressive person to be around. You can tell that he's got a lot of experience and, and knows the game and uh, knows how to play. Yeah, he's, uh, like you said, he's explosive as they come. And you talk about being patient, which a lot of mm -hmm. young runners – you know, maybe Randall might have skills, but might not be as patient as a guy like McFadden or, or Murray, so to speak. So that's something that you guys notice. You like those guys running behind you that give you guys an extra chance, right, that are patient. Yeah, I mean, I think we're confident in all the backs we have, and they yeah. really do a nice job. Um, you know, last night, um, you know, Darren's number was called, and he did, he did an awesome job. So, um, you know, it was really fun blocking for him last night, and hopefully we can keep it rolling. You guys think you can rush for 230-some yards next week versus the Seahawks? Let's hope. It's all, I mean, that's a recipe to win, right? That's the right, only way yeah. you lose that last game is by the turnovers. Normally, you rush for 230 yards. 
you win that football game, I think Matt Castle's going to clean those turnovers up. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, I do. And, you know, Castle, uh, I, I liked he, – he made some mistakes with the interceptions, but I liked what he did. Uh, he was elusive in the pocket, you know, and, and it seemed like there was a few times where he eluded the, the pass rush. Is uh, Matt Castle in the audience? You just said elusive. I, 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 I saw it. I mean, I saw it. You know, he, he Tony Romo does that uh, Star Wars Jedi-like thing where he – you know, avoids uh, pass rushers all the time. And, and I saw that a few times with Castle. So uh, if he can clean up those interceptions, I, he had a really, really good game. Well, let's change gears a little bit. I don't know if you guys have heard of this Fan Wish app. Pretty darn cool. I know a couple of your teammates have mm-hmm. invested in it. You get a lifetime opportunity to meet your Dallas Cowboy heroes as of now, but they're going to expand into other markets. Let's talk about a couple of the wishes that you're able to get, which are, I think, going away tonight, if I'm not mistaken. You get a chance to be general manager for a day. Matt, I know you'd love that. <laughs> also got on. a chance to meet Jerry Jones on the field and watch from the suite. I think you heard me talk about it. You can watch those veins poking out <laughs> old Jerry's face in person. <laughs> or attend a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader swimsuit luncheon. If you're into that kind of thing. If you're into cheerleaders and swimsuits. Now, those sound like pretty cool deals to me. What do you guys think about Fan Wish? Yeah, it sounds pretty cool to me. Uh, I've had a chance to listen, uh, see you know, what they do a little bit, and it's uh, really impressive the way that they make these things available to just everybody. Yeah, I got some cute entrepreneurs. You know, that doesn't hurt for business, for commercials maybe. We're going to download that Fan Wish app while we take a break, but when we come back, it'll be Beer 101 on the fan. America's favorite vacation company is flying nonstop from Dallas, Fort Worth. Save hundreds with Apple Vacations to Mexico and the Caribbean. Secrets Resorts and Spas offer unlimited luxury for adults only escapes. Airfare, hotel, premium brand drinks, gourmet meals, all tips, and more. Call your travel agent or visit us online today. Apple Vacations, America's favorite vacation company. Grab a crisp, refreshing Bud Light, put two plans on the table, and let the NFL coin toss decide. Okay, heads, we host a bocce tournament. Tails, tackle football. You're like a horseshoe tournament. Full contact tackle football. I just, how's that fair? My favorite segment, once again, Beer 101 with resident expert Tara Dollar from Benny Keith Beverages. Now it's getting close to Halloween. What do you have for us today? Today I brought you a pumpkin beer. Pumpkin beers are great at Halloween, but you know, the Pilgrims actually made beers with pumpkin to last the entire um, harvest season. So this beer will take you all the way through Thanksgiving. All the way. Uh, this beer is made with pumpkins, but it's also made with cinnamon, cloves, ginger. So those spices are gonna go really well with our grilled quail. Uh, the char on the skin, the, the crispiness, is gonna go great with that. Plus you have enough carbonation to really clean your palate after the remoulade. Yummy. So we wanted a little texture, a little spice. Yeah. So you can see how gorgeous this beer is. Mm. I love it. Copper, really, really aromatic. Cheers. Yummy. It's like a pumpkin pie for adults. <laughs> Liquid pumpkin pie for adults. There you have it from Terra Dollar. Great beer for the great season. Well, thanks, Tony, for that great Beer 101 segment, my favorite segment. That was the best segment of the day, fellas. Back here again with Zach and Travis. I'm going to play a little game with you guys, because I know you guys are buddies, playing the same offensive line. You guys hang out, hang out a lot together, spend a lot of hours in the meeting room together. Several. So we're going to see who's the better friend. All right? You guys got your whiteboards? Grab yep, your whiteboards. I, yep. Now, what is each other's favorite food? Simple. I know you guys have been out and ate some queso and fries together. We're, we're writing down our favorite food, right? Mm-hmm. Are we writing our food or what we the, think their food is? friend's favorite food, yes. It's called Better Friend, just in case you didn't hear me, Travis. Thank you. All right. <laughs> what do we have? Can we see the answers? We got prime rib. Prime rib. And ice cream. Ah, got the protein and the dessert. How close are we? I'm prime rib, yeah. I'm prime ice rib, cream right? for sure. Oh, nice. Okay. The better friend is a draw. 
Okay, what's the other's... Okay, all right. What's the other's favorite movie? Ooh, a little tougher. A little tougher. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's see what you got. What you got, Travis? John Wayne's movies. <laughs> Shootist? Is that a movie? I like John Wayne movies. I can yes. tell you, like, so yes. it's more of a character than well, a movie. Yeah, actor movie. Close, yeah, yeah, yeah. Close enough. Close enough. What do we have there? Star Wars. I do right there. You're, you're right, but if you're going to qualify mine as ch movies, I think you got to <laughs> qualify Star Wars as you're a right. set of it's movies. At least as well. a trilogy, right? <laughs> at least a trilogy. He's adding here. Unfair. Unfair. Ah, yeah, he was writing a long time for your favorite food too. Uh, I thought it was some, you know, some of a different culture. Now, here we go. Now we're going to really get into the nitty-gritty. All right. What is the other's pet peeve? Like, what gets under your better friend's skin? Oh, man. Ooh, deep thought. Do, 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 this is a tough one. Do, do, These are getting harder. Pet peeves. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, somebody's a little OCD. All right, Travis says, dirty dishes in the sink. Oh, he keeps it clean, ladies. What do we have over there, Zach? When people ignore when him. When people ignore him, ooh, he likes, he, he likes attention. Yes. That's what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Wait, wait. What are you trying to say? So man? you're saying the beard is for attention. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's tough, I don't know. So, so did I get it right? Uh, no. Oh. That's more like morning. No? You didn't, you didn't get that right? You, you, you have well, other I don't like peeves? dirty dishes, okay. no. Yeah, dirty but there's dishes. other things that get under your right, skin more. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So, what is the other's favorite type of music? It's all right. Okay. Country. country and country, right? But he's pretty specific. See, that's a center <laughs> for you. Very specific. Attention to detail. These guards. Can't rely on these guards. Well, up next, fellas, we had a lot of fun with that game. Looks like you guys really know each other. Up next, we're going to have That's Just Rude with Matt Thornton. He'll be back. Also, the founders of Culture Nugget and Dallas Sites 101 to detail what's the secret hot spots in Dallas. Stay tuned. Grab a crisp, refreshing Bud Light. Put two plans on the table and let the NFL coin toss decide. If it's heads, we should go rock climbing this weekend. Tails. Really, dude? What about your arm? Heads, we go cliff diving. Tails, we... Uh, again, I think you're missing the point. Heads, we go rafting. Bob LaBelle for Home Marketing Services. Here today to discuss the New Year's resolutions that we've all made. Let's see. There's uh, going to quit smoking. Yeah, like that'll happen. Uh, going to lose those extra pounds, work out? Yeah. Uh, going to be a better person? Whatever the heck that means. Uh, going to quit renting and stop making the landlord richer? Hallelujah. Get out of the rent race? Hallelujah. Finally, a resolution we can all keep. the fame. I'm still here with Mr. Matt Thornton talking to little cowboys. Yes, also going to have some fun, Matt, with yes, this sir. segment. This segment I like to call That's Just Rude, where we like to attack maybe some manners throughout current events or sports, whatever it might be. The first subject is Des Bryant and Greg Hardy 
getting in a little altercation. Mm-hmm. We all know about this altercation, right? Yeah, yeah. So what do you think, Matt? Do you think that's just rude or is this something that's commonplace on the NFL sideline? I, I think that's rude. Drew Pearson told me today Tom Landry did not have injured players on his sideline. He shouldn't have been on the sideline. It's rude. That is rude. I wasn't even thinking about it rude that way. I like that take on it, Matt. There you go. That's just rude, Matt. Also, I'm sure you heard of Dr. Drew. Yes, right? yes. Right, Dr. Drew, Mr. Advice Giver, right? Tries to guide people's lives. He also tells Khloe Kardashian she should not get back with Lamar Odom after his recent <laughs> issues. Oh man, uh, I, I don't I don't know how rude that is. I yeah, that's a sticky one, man. I don't know. I yeah, don't know. I would never give anybody that advice. No, yeah. stay away from him. But yeah, uh, I yeah. could see where the advice could be coming from. Yeah, but totally. I just don't like Dr. Drew, so that's oh just. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, tell us who we have up next. Yeah, really exciting. Uh, we, we're we're going to bring on a couple young entrepreneurs, Doug Beecham and Lily Kramlick-Taylor from Culture Nugget and Dallas Sites 101. Put your hands together for them, folks. Hello, hello. Hey. Thanks for joining us. What's up, Thanks Cowboys Nation? <laughs> Cowboys. There you go. That's right. All right, so we are all Texas all the time, so we're going to talk about Dallas. These guys are really, you know, some bloggers that really know a lot about Dallas. So, Doug, tell us a little about your company. Blogging. Uh, Yeah, so Culture Nugget is a uh, local media production that me and some of my friends uh, organized uh, to promote local business and community culture here in Dallas. It's very neat, very neat. And... uh, uh, Kramlick Taylor, sorry, uh, <laughs> Lily, sorry, it's a Lily, long last Kramlick name. Taylor, Lily, uh, could you tell us a little bit about your uh, your company as well? Definitely, Dallas Sites 101 is a media outlet mainly on Instagram that really focuses on connecting businesses with people in Dallas to find out whatever that niche is that's going to make them call Dallas our home. That's really nice. Now, you, Doug, you mentioned culture nuggets. What is that? What's a culture nugget? It's kind of, it's kind of. I know, it's, I get asked that a lot. It's kind of the. Uh, the best local treasures in Dallas, and uh, those things that uh, you may really like and endorse, those those restaurants, those uh, concert venues, um, those kinds of things, and uh, those, those things that you want to share, not with just your friends, but with a wider audience. Very neat, very neat. Well, yeah. cool. Well, speaking of, best of, I'm going to ask you guys some, some rapid fire best of Dallas questions, okay? okay. All right, you ready? All Bring right, here on. they come. <laughs> best food. I'll come a taco. Metal some moth. Nice. Metal some moth. Best drink. Um, small brew pub. The s- Moscow Mule at the Standard Pour. Nice. Mm. Okay, I've had that. It's good. It's really good. Best live music. Uh, the Kessler Theater in Oak Cliff. House of Blues. Oh, there you go. Most successful annual event. I th- I thought uh, the Aurora at the uh, DMA this year was uh, although it, that may be like every other year. Me and my co-founder, Kara, are really excited for Dallas Autumn Ball this year. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very cool. Uh, best outdoor patio? The Rustic. Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Can't get much better than the Rustic. There you go. The Rustic gets some love. And finally, favorite hidden gem? Um, it's, for me, it's a tie between Garden Cafe and Junius Heights and uh, the Texas Theater in Oak Cliff. I, I'm going to go with Sandbar Cantina. Great. All right. Well, great. It's been great having these guys on. Give them a round of applause. Yes, thank you, Lily and Doug. I appreciate it. Okay. And now we're going to welcome out for a nice little bonus, the Dallas Elite football team. There they are. Look at them. Pile in here, ladies. Come on. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> it's a small couch, you know. Get, okay. get comfy. You guys can stand, too. You know, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Well, let's get a, get a few names here. Now, this is the Jerry Jones slash owner of the Dallas oh, Elite. Yeah. Look at her, all suited and booted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my name is Odessa Jenkins. I'm the owner and head coach of the team. Nice. Now, you guys' season just ended, If um, like I just said. They just came in runner-up. I mean, Dallas, would, the Cowboys would love to say they just lost the Super Bowl, so I'm not... I'm not uh, putting you on blast or anything, <laughs> but we got no, li- no, no, no Lombardi trophy over here to celebrate. But still, 43 teams in the league? 43 wow. teams in the league in an wow. eight-game season. Yes. And this was one of the last two teams standing. Yes. Wow. I like the unis, too. 
like it. A little star action. So there you have it, the Dallas Elite. You guys need to go check them out. I'd like to thank all our guests for coming out today. Don't forget the fame airs Saturday mornings on TXA 21. Next up, Adrian Johnson. Introducing our 2015 NFL lineup. Get your favorite team's Bud Light can for game day. Thanks for having us out. I'm Adrian Johnston. We're going to play y'all a couple songs if that's okay. Do a new single for y'all called It's a Song. <laughs> the vinyl on my granddaddy's knee It's a parking lot revival A melancholy melody It's a AM static Feels like a magic last day you see me It's an afternoon with Emmy Lou When he left me in tears And it goes la di da di da di da It's a good It's a good